Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to do my favorite color, pink. <laughs> and let's jump into it. Jumping into this tutorial, we're going to use this eyeshadow C brush. And we're going to dip it in this very light pink color called Pinkity Drinkity. And this is going to be our base color to get this cute look started today. Next I'm using my basic eyeshadow brush and we're going to come in with a little bit of this color called Love That. This color is going to be our dark color that we're going to put on the outside of this look. Our little shadow color. Next with this blending brush, I'm just going to soften those edges. Next with that same eyeshadow brush, we're going to come in with this very fun pink color called Skip. And we're going to put this on the outer half and blend it into that darker color. Next, I'm going to take a cotton round and I'm going to spritz it with some water. And get my brush wet. And then I'm going to dip it in this white color called Flashback. And this is going to be our color on the inner corner of our eye. I'm using a wet brush to help layer on that pigment really nice and <laughs> opaque is the word I was looking for. So again with my eyeshadow C brush, I'm going to come in with this color called Ring Light and we're going to apply this over that flashback color that we just did. Next with that same brush, we're going to come into this pinkish shimmer called Sister and we're going to sweep this over the rest of our eyelid. this Tattoo Studio uh, eye pencil. It's a gel pencil liner in the color Deep Onyx. And since this is a gel pencil, I'm going to have on hand my angled eyeliner brush so that we can pull and fade that liner. It's best to just watch how I do this. <laughs> It is a very bold eye pencil, and so I like to soften it using that angled brush. I think it helps soften the look. It's best to work quickly before that liner dries. Next, I'm going to use my mascara called Bye Bye Panda Eyes. Next, I'm going to use my dark freckle pen and my spoolie to draw on my eyebrows today. I'm 
All right, I finally have purchased a beauty blender, a beauty sponge, and so today I'm going to get my full coverage on. I'm just gonna dip it in both of these colors. In this lightest color, I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes. thing that I have liked so far about a beauty blender is I do not waste any product. Whereas using the brushes, it really soaks up into those bristles, but using it this way, I waste next to nothing. All right, now with my contouring brush, We're going to chisel out my face to help give that beautiful 3D makeup look. Next, we're going to come in with this cheek color. Now we're going to grab this highlight color. And if you are interested in any of this makeup from Saint or even these brushes, I have linked them all in the description of this video. I'm just going to add the highlight down the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow. And I like to put it across my cheek. A nice little glow. Now with this small precision brush, I'm going to put some of this on by Katie Cat in the color Cat Call. Alright, this is my very soft, beautiful, and pretty pink look for today, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you try this look out, be sure to find me on Instagram and let me see how beautiful you look. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Take it.